Lion King is roaring back to life in an exclusive Disneyland experience unlike any other. To kick off summer and Disneyland celebrate Soulfully events, Hip Hollywood got advanced access to the wild musical theater show and spoke with the creative minds behind the new attraction. We really wanted our voice you know, here at the Disneyland Resort to tell our story. And so we spent a lot of time, I think we went through like maybe 22 renditions of, you know, variations of the script before we finally landed on this one. Whenever I listen to anything, I have to close my eyes so I can start to visualize, which is what's important to me with storytelling. I want our guests to visualize what's happening, not only see it, but visualize it so they can go on that journey as well. We came from an African dance standpoint and also we wanted to add stepping, crumping, some contemporary and can you feel the love tonight. So we just wanted the audience to have a, a full scope of um, different styles of choreography. What was different for this was making sure that we came from a storytelling perspective. We wanted to feel a little bit cinematic, but also feel anything you could see on tour with your favorite artists. And the great thing is, is that it was a collaborative effort. Yeah. So they allowed us to have a voice as we were telling that story choreography. One of the primary things that we wanted was for the performers to feel comfortable in their look, but also to keep with the story. So in the designing and the creation of their looks, we looked at how they wear their hair normally in comparison to some of the inspiration that I took. And so I just kind of melded those together and found looks that I thought would work well with their roles. Plus, from Pride Rock Punch to Hakuna Matata treats, we got to feast on authentic African-inspired dishes that will certainly have fans feeling the love. Really with all of the dishes, the inspiration was one, the Lion King story, because that's what we're going to be watching and coinciding with on stage. Then another part of that was me just doing a crazy amount of research, reading African cookbooks, looking at African menus, and then just kind of drawing and seeing what was popular on those items and then putting it on the plate. So could Tale of the Lion King set the stage for other Disney adaptations? I would love to do something for Princess and the Frog. The Princess and the Frog. If I had a choice, if they said, hey, what would you like to do next? That's probably where I would go. Or I would take a classic story and really twist it. Be sure to check out Tale of the Lion King and celebrate soulfully at Disneyland now. For Hip Hollywood, I'm Deborah O.